morning, guys. Um, <sighs> it's like almost eight o'clock um, on Thursday morning, but I did a lot of the work for myself already for the vlog um, while we were gone traveling this week. Uh, so, um, what did we do first? We got to Baker and we camped. Um, for just because we didn't contact people to stay with them soon enough and they all had plans so we already packed our tent so we ended up camping so here's that we are over here in Baker City Oregon uh, you just saw that bird fly by that was pretty exciting uh, got the mountains behind us we are at a uh, RV park slash camping site um, we're in the very back of the park there's only a few uh, tent camping spots available um, here. It's mostly built for RV, but Bear City is absolutely beautiful, guys. If you've never been, definitely go check it out. More mountains off that way. I'm here with here with the wife. We're camping. Um, we just got done having dinner. Just got done putting the rain fly on the tent. Uh, there's the wife. Hi, wife. She's she's the best. She made dinner. It was delicious. We had we had hot dogs. Uh, we there's no fire pit here, so we made hot dogs in the in the pan we have a little pan that we put on our coleman camping stove she boiled them first and then fried them in the pan up and then uh took uh the the pillsbury croissants and actually cooked them in the pan in some oil and <laughs> fried them up that way a little bit different comes out kind of tasting like pancakes but they're really good really simple and then some baked beans to to finish out but uh we're staying here tonight, and then we're uh, have, going to a graduation party right tomorrow for the young lady that we came here for her graduation today. Um, today being Friday, May 31st. Um, but uh, then tomorrow night we're going to camp in a different area, Central Oregon. Um, but absolutely gorgeous, guys. Just wanted to share this with you and uh, throw it in the vlog for this week, and we'll see you at the next next campsite. Just got out of the shower here at the campsite in Baker. Got my flippy floppies. And uh, talked to a few people, uh, the people in the campsite next to us. They're bike riding. They were bike riding all the way from Florence. They're heading over to DC. So they're going the entire length of the country. Um, and then they were talking to another gentleman that's coming down from Seattle. He's riding to Denver. So, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> these people, man. And that's the thing about camping too. You run into all sorts of people doing all sorts of things. and. Just kind of cool, kind of cool to talk to people, see what they're, see what they're doing. But safe travels to them. I uh, didn't catch their names or anything, but it's really cool, really cool what they're doing. It sounds like a really fun trip. So yep, we camped there for the night. Um, we have a big tent. I bought it, you know, with the foresight that we'll have kids and we'll need space for everybody. Um, we have a big tent, and it's honestly kind of a pain uh, to build it and dismantle it every time when we're doing these one shot, you know, one place per night things. Uh, that's the tent that we took with us on our Chicago trip um, last August. But anyway, um, here's some pictures of, you know, the sunset and it was really pretty. It was actually really a nice view from there. Um, lots of mosquitoes, though. I'm not a big fan of mosquitoes. But the reason we were in Baker, we had this graduation to go to um, for one of my wife's former students. Um, she was a graduating high school. And, uh, you know, here's little snippets of the thing. Lots of fun. Angela Denise Johnson. Um, nice to see that kid. She's she's gotten a lot older since I've when since I met her first. Yeah, my wife worked over in Baker City for a while um, as the teacher, and this student and her, you know, really had a connection. So it was good that we came. Um, but then from there, so over in Baker, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can 
actually go to to a place you know just outside of Baker um, that actually has ruts from the Oregon Trail, um, like the actual Oregon Trail, which I thought was really cool. Uh, so every time we're in Baker, I always make it a point to go over there and see the ruts because I'm a huge history buff. You know that's true. And I grew up playing Oregon Trail, so to see the the ruts themselves was really is always really cool. So here's um, me checking out the ruts. So the wife and I are here now at the ruts of the Oregon Trail. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys played the Oregon Trail um, video game on the computer through elementary school, but this is the real life thing. Uh, just outside of Baker City, they you know still exist as long as you you know don't walk on the on the edges and you know keep it you know keep it calm keep your pets um at bay there is an interpretive center up at the top of this hill here does a little more on the history of the oregon trail as well but uh, i always love coming out here when we're over in baker city area um to come just kind of look at it it's cool it's history and then i'm really really into that so um i have this photo series that i did in in college as well that was like I took pictures of locations as they exist now and took old pictures that I found online and like overlaid them. I just took some pictures of the ruts here and found an old picture of a wagon from the 1800s from the Oregon Trail itself that I plan on um, overlaying and, and doing that with this as well. But um, yeah, definitely if you guys are in, if you guys are in Eastern Oregon, uh, Baker City, it's just outside of Baker on the other side of the interstate uh, there's signs for the interpretive center uh, and then the ruts themselves there is a little um there's a little sign on the side of the road um if you're going east it's on the left side of the road and it's for the ruts themselves there's a trail to it and then the ruts here lovely wife say hello lovely wife all right guys james from the oregon trail we'll check in later so yes we had a grand old time of it um Going over there to Baker, uh, we ended up camping again at um, Ochoco National Forest, Central Oregon. Um, this is my cat, Mason. He's one of the two. And then the little calico butt that you see right here, that's Maddie. Um, but he likes to get all up in my business. But anyway, um, so we left Baker, uh, headed over to the Ochoco National Forest. Uh, it's it's way deep in the woods like the closest town is close to an hour away um, it's, it's just outside of Prineville um, but it's deep in the national for it's pretty deep in the national forest and uh, light pollution is very low um, so I actually was able to get a long exposure shot of this of the starlight so if you guys haven't checked out my uh, uh, photography page on Facebook. Uh, go check that out. Go like it. And uh, I'm posting pictures from our trip on there right now, currently. Um, it, I've been expecting you. <laughs> Mr. Bond. No. Um, <laughs> you make me feel like a mad scientist, Bug. Um, but anyway, we camped at Ochco and uh, really beautiful. It had great weather overnight, so we kept the rain fly off. Um, here's some pictures that I took just with my phone um, of the campsite itself. Very, very pretty campsite in the middle of the woods. Um, and then, you know, of course, the one with the rain fly off was, was really nice. But uh, here's here's a little video I took there. Hey, guys, it's, uh, what time is it, babe? 7.56. 7.56. 7 7.56 at the Ochco... Ochco National Forest Campground, Wildcat Campground. Um, we just got up not too long ago, had some percolator coffee. Uh, I had to convince my wife that part of the camping experience is that you have to chew your coffee. You know, <laughs> that you know the grounds are part of the experience, but uh, she's not fully sold on that, I don't think. But um, I look like a scrub, I'm sorry. Um, but that's what happens when you wake up camping. And there's no showers at the location. Um, but it's beautiful here. There is a creek running nearby, river-ish, creek, whatever. Um, it's way deep in 
in here. It was about a 10 mile drive off the main highway and five miles of it was gravel. So um, we're nice and deep in the forest here. There's no sound of the highway. Uh, it's nothing but nature. It's beautiful. You can see the sunrise behind me. It's a beautiful morning. Um, and we put squares of Hershey's chocolate in our coffee this morning too from our s'mores last night. So, um, yeah, that's good stuff. But guys, we'll prob I'll probably check in with you again later. But uh, yeah, Ochco National Forest in Oregon, uh, just just uh, east of Prineville. So if you guys want a good place to camp, Wildcat Campground, and there's like three hiking trails around here too that um, we don't have the time to experience today. But we definitely plan on possibly coming back here and camping and hitting those hiking trails. So um, if you're into hiking, definitely come here, check those out as well. But we'll check in again later with you guys uh, down the road. So yeah, we had a good time uh, camping. I love to camp, love to get outdoors. I love to get that um, recharge in, in my life. Uh, my wife actually was listening to this audiobook on her way over to Baker called The Three Day Effect. Um, I just listened to the last part of it with her, but I've heard her listening to it, you know, off and on for the last week or two. And, um, it was, it was all about, you know, what's the science behind, um, what's the science behind getting outdoors and like, what does that do for you, you know, internally, mentally, physically, and they put science to it, you know, they checked like blood pressures and, and things and found that you know, spending just at least three days out in the wild, out in the, out in nature, you know, getting away from the city, getting away from the hustle and bustle, um, is, is really good for, for the brain, for the body, um, just for, just for everything. So, um, you know, that explains why we like, always get a recharge, um, get a recharge going outdoors. But, uh, yeah, I love camping. And then we stopped in Sisters, Oregon, little, uh, it's turned into a resort town. Um, but years back when my dad drove semi truck, uh, caught like privately for a company, um, he would always have to take loads through, uh, Sisters. That was always the route that they had him take. So we'd, we'd ride with him when he'd go through Sisters. And it used to be this like little quaint, like westerny town, but, it's it's kind of an in between between um, Eugene and Bend, and so of course they had to you know um, of course they did of course they had to uh, build it up and make it a good stopping point in between for people, um, but it's still it's still a fun little town to go to. Lots of shops and then there are um, different lodges and things you can go um, for the resort feel. But uh, here's a little video I took I took. There's a little video I took leaving the coffee shop there. Well guys, last check in for our little trip here. Uh, we're stopping in Sisters. We've eaten lunch at the uh, Sisters Saloon. Grabbed some coffee from Sisters Coffee Company. And uh, we're headed back to the car and we're gonna go straight home from, from here. So uh, guys, thank you for watching the vlog. Um, I'll close it out, you know, <laughs> at home. But uh, thanks again. Hope you guys enjoyed all the little uh, inserts of, of everything we did. Um, basically took up their whole vlog, but you know, sometimes that's how it happens. Uh, if you guys want to check any of those places out, if you want addresses or locations, let me know, hit me up and, uh, I'll, I'll get that hookup for you guys. All right. Uh, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Speaking of coffee, I don't know if y'all noticed, but this mug here, um, Prince Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, he is by far my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, um, just because... I don't know why. He just really is. I just have always really loved Vegeta um, as a character, but my sister bought this for me. Uh, it's a color-changing mug. If you guys didn't notice it happen earlier in the video, go back and watch it color change um, to Super Saiyan mode. And uh, it's it's really fun. She bought it for me with this, um, with this figurine of Vegeta doing his final flash um one of his one of his moves that i think is way underrated but uh guys that'll do it for the vlog this week um i did like i said i did a lot of the work for myself um on the trip so not much to report here at this moment but 
Um, if you guys like what you see, go ahead and uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, you know, subscribe. You know, um, wherever it, wherever the button ends up, hit hit my face, touch my face somewhere, and uh, you'll be able to subscribe there. And then check out other content I've got here. I'd really appreciate your feedback. Uh, go check out my Twitch. I stream every single day, and uh, we'll catch you guys. We'll catch you guys next week. <laughs> All right, take care, guys.